morning. It is Wednesday, March 28th. It has been almost a year since I have vlogged. I missed you guys. Um, but I'm getting back in the flow. I am getting ready for work. It is... 6.06 in the morning <laughs> and I have to get you caught up because you're like you're ready you're getting ready for work I thought you were a life coach and you're working for somebody else now yeah <laughs> but I'm gonna talk to you while I'm putting on my makeup um so yes I got a job um with a government agency I won't say which one um <laughs> but anyway I got a job with a government agency um it's a temporary assignment it's a six-month assignment um, that hopefully will be renewed for another six months. I am about um, almost four months into my six month assignment. <laughs> so it has been rough because um, the work schedule was pretty ambitious. When I first started, it was a mandatory 60 hours a week, plus I have a t about a 40 minute commute one way. Um, so you can imagine 60 hours. So I was doing um, six 10 hour days and it was rough that so was a mandatory you had to work a weekend obviously um, and so yeah <laughs> um, but I really I've been pulling back from dating as you guys know I have a, um, a playlist uh, called um, dating God's way in your 40s and so and also remember guys this is the last year that I can say that because in December I'm gonna be turning 50 my ju I'm calling it my jubilee year my girlfriend just turned 50 and she's all flipping out and I'm like you know you tripping girl this is your, this is your jubilee year okay <laughs> jubilee <laughs> so anyway um so that's what we're doing I'm oh, sorry let me just grab this hold on um so I'm getting the the, the tools of the trade and um you guys, I missed you, and um, I have been, sorry, I have been um, still working on my business. Um, I'm now taking a copywriting class um, with a gentleman who is so well known for copywriting, has made so much ridiculous money um, as a copywriter, and um, he's also a wonderful Christian, and, and I think um, I just started the course, but um, I've gotten lots of good ideas and good material already, um, but that's really the real uh, challenge that I have. It's, it's writing good advertising that gets people, you know, I can get them to engage with me, and I can get them to like my Facebook page, I can get them to participate with me on, on social media, but I haven't been able to write that special um ad or advertising that really gets people to be able to um, convert from being uh, good friends on Facebook to being a client. And so that's my big challenge. And so that's what I'm taking this class for to learn how to write better, essentially. Um, because, you know, obviously I've, I've been trained to write very technically and I really have to relearn how to write um, very conversationally, not, you know, pay so much attention to, oh, you know, this and that and, you know, sentence structure and all that stuff. I have to write uh, more of the way that I speak. Um, and it's, it's, it's different. It is truly kind of letting go. And, <laughs> you know, me, I love to follow rules. So it's really, truly kind of letting go. And, um, oh, yeah. I feel like I'm driving down the highway 100 miles an hour and I throw the steering wheel out the window. That's what I feel. <laughs> um, so anyway. Also, let me just let you know on, uh, on the agenda today. Um, oh, another thing is I'm, I'm recording this with my new iPhone 8 Plus. Um, I upgraded from 6, so that gives you an idea. <laughs> I guess I had my phone probably three years. Um, and I always had a problem with memory and so that's another reason why I really wasn't blogging because I was constantly running out of memory so I am um, well one of the things that kind of ticked me off I was at the Verizon store and um, they come out with these nice little canvas canvas baskets with the handles and I'm thinking that he has air all the accessories in there that we talked about. So this is my third time trying to get this phone at the Verizon store. 
and um, he finishes the sale and I'm you know getting ready to walk out the door and um, he tells me he doesn't have the screen protector. Now you guys know what's the most likely thing to happen to your phone is you drop it and the screen cracks, right? And so I'm pissed because now it kind of takes the joy a little bit, you know, out of having a new phone because now I have to treat it like kit gloves and, you know, make sure nothing happens to it. So I had to go through the inconvenience um, on Monday. Today's Wednesday. Um, so this past Monday, two days ago, I had to go and go to the Verizon store that's close to my work and get a screen protector. But, um, you know, the, the gentleman who was at the other Verizon store where I bought the phone um, went ahead and ordered a screen protector. So now I, I'm going to have to go through the inconvenience again to go and return the screen, the screen, correct, uh, um, the screen protector. I don't know why I can't talk today. The screen protector. Um, so anyway, I'm kind of annoyed. <laughs> Because, you know, it's an inconvenience to the customer, obviously. Um, and I'm having to make an extra trip. You know, it's a, the store is about four miles from where I work. But that's not the point. It's still an inconvenience. Um, it's something I'm going to have to do on my lunch. Because I have Bible study. Today's Wednesday, so I have Bible study after work. And I don't want the screen protector to disappear. So I want this to, to do this as quickly as possible. So anyway, I'm just going to finish putting on my makeup and jump in the car and I will see you guys soon. And I'm not quite sure what to call you guys. You know, the peeps is taken. Um, and so I was calling you before. I'm trying to remember. Gosh, it's been so long. But anyway. I need a fresh new name for you guys. So if you guys have suggestions, um, please put it in the comments. I read every single comment. Um, and so I want to know what you guys want to be called because I love you guys. And uh, I really want you guys to feel like you are a part of what we're doing here. Okay, so since I'm not really dating right now and I'm not really wanting a date right now, I don't really have the time. I'm still working 58 hours a week. That's about to change because thank God they're gonna eliminate Saturdays. Um, so I'm gonna go down to 50 hours a week. <laughs> mandatory, you know, that's that's not, you know, you know, voluntary overtime, it's mandatory. Um, so, anywho, so I'll still be doing five 10 hour days, but that's okay. We are, Making strides, that's what's important. We are making strides. So anyway, I am going to finish putting on my makeup and get ready to walk out the door. <laughs> my eye makeup routine my face makeup routine I don't put on any foundation but 
I don't really think I need any. <laughs> Unless I'm really having a formal evening. Which, uh, that's right, this coming Monday I'm going to have a Passover Seder dinner that we're going to. So that should be a lot of fun and I'll be taking you guys along. Anyway, it's raining so uh, the traffic's going to be a little bit slower. So I got to get going. It is 624 so I'm going to be out the door. I'll see you a little bit later. Hey, I just finished doing my video uh, for my business page and I was talking about the dangers of trying to be friends with your soon to be ex. You know, sometimes, you know, loose lips can sink ships, right? <laughs> so anyway, um, I am in the parking lot getting ready to walk back. I'm at lunch right now. And so um, I extended my lunch. It used to be 30 minutes, but now it's an hour. And so um, I'm gonna eat. Um, and unfortunately I found out this morning that um, my sister suffered a, a loss in her family. And so I am going to be one of my sisters anyway. And so um, I connected with her this morning and I need to connect with her again this evening, make sure she's okay. Um, and just kind of go from there. I have Bible study tonight. So tonight is game night. So for Bible study tonight, we're going to have game night. So it's going to be super fun. Um, some people may want to bring their own games and kind of, you know, have different people play on the teams. Or we might do boys against the girls and we have a battle of the sexes um, trivia game. So that's always fun, you know, how much the guys know about girls and how much do girls know about guys. And so that's always a lot of fun. So oh i'm finally off work okay <laughs> so now i'm on my way to pick up a friend of mine we have bible study tonight and so i'm gonna go pick up my friend who had eye surgery who cannot drive right now but he's feeling well enough to go to work um but as far as driving when it turns nighttime, uh, is not a good idea for him so um, i'm gonna go pick him up i don't think he's gonna want to be on camera <laughs> which is totally understandable i get it um but anyway that's what I'm on my way to doing now. It is rainy. I can't say it's raw out, but it's uh, rainy. Oh, shucks. Here's my turn. It's rainy and kind of yucky out. It's been raining for the past couple of days, but anyhow, we need the rain because it's been really, really dry. And uh, I'm talking about dry. My mouth is dry, so I'm going to put some <laughs> either some lipstick or some uh, lip balm on. Oh, my hair's sticking up a little bit. Anyway. Um, so that's what we're doing. I'm hoping to have some people show up because I really have not been publicizing this at all. Um, so I'm hoping there's going to be some people who are going to show up. And um, if not, you know, we'll just hang out for a little bit. I ordered some pizza. <laughs> so I'm hoping, you know, there's going to be some folks here to eat some pizza. Let me just put in the code here so I can get into pick up my friend. Uh, so hold on a second. Enter access. Access granted. Okay, yay, access granted. Okay. <laughs> okay. Especially since there's nobody going in on the other side of the gate that I can kind of t tailgate in. <laughs> That's one thing about these gated communities, you know, unless there's a real person at the gate, it's a false sense of security. <laughs> so I've gotten in many a neighborhoods. We're gated in, please. No big deal. You just wait long enough, and um, it's no big deal. Anyway, um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna uh, video once I get to the game. I don't know. I'm not sure if I'll get the if I'll video once I get the Bible study. But anyway, I've had a long day. <laughs> Um, as you know, I work 10 hour shifts. Uh, so I'm still doing this and doing my ministry stuff. And plus I'm also, I'm um, still working on my business stuff. I'm actually taking a, um, copywriting class so I can learn how to write better advertising materials. So that's what we're doing. And actually I was on a call today listening for an hour while I was at work, listening to a, a hour call for my instructor on that same course. So it's been good. It's been a really interesting year. I've decided that um, I'm just too busy to date and my number one priority right now really is getting this business up and running. And so I've decided I'm not going to date until that happens. 
So anyway, I will catch up with you guys later. Oh, hey you guys, we had game night. I did not film uh, just because I had to pick up my friend and we got there really super late and they were already kind of engaged in the game and I didn't want to break the flow by, you know, doing a whole lot of videoing and, and you know, just kind of disrupting the atmosphere, so to speak. Everybody's having such a good time and laughing and we played a couple of trivia games um, and it was so much fun. People laughed and really, you know, got you know, engaged with one another and really talking and asking about, you know, what they're doing. It was such a good icebreaker. It was really something wonderful that, you know, people who, you know, don't know each other very well, don't know each other at all, really had an opportunity to kind of connect and really feel at home and decompress and have some fun and be goofy and just blow off some steam in the middle of the week. So it was a good excellent time and um, so I'm getting ready to take off this makeup and dive in the bed I am so super tired I got to get back up again at about five o'clock well, about 4 30 so I'll get uh, maybe four hours sleep again Ugh. and I'm gonna have another long night because I have a meeting tomorrow but God is good <laughs> and so um, so I'm gonna close out this video I hope that you guys had a wonderful day and um, I will see you again soon. If you like this video, like, comment, share, and subscribe to my page. Take care.